All right. Hey everyone, it's Eric Wen, and uh, today, we're gonna be trying something a little bit new today. Today I actually wanted to share some of the editorial decisions that I made on the last video, uh, in hopes that I could share some of the things that I'm learning behind the scenes, behind the camera, on how to communicate more effectively, tell a better story, that type of thing. With every video when I'm editing or writing, I learn a whole bunch of new things on how I could probably say things a little bit better. So I figured why, why not invite you guys in on that process. This is not about uh, making anyone super hypercritical of their own stuff or super self-conscious. This is just about sharing some of the things that I'm learning behind the scenes on how to communicate more effectively and hopefully give you something to think about. All right, on the macro scale. So on a macro scale, <laughs> this video gave me a lot of trouble because my original idea was too big. I had originally wanted it to be all the things that I had learned from Audrey Amber. I had about eight points that I wanted to include in the video. I tried really, really hard to string all of these eight points in a way that made sense and flowed. But after I hit record, recorded the whole thing, I started editing, I was like, this is way too long. This is way too much. This is sort of boring. So my second attempt to fix this problem was to just skip through all the pieces that I had mentioned in other videos. But I found that it was sort of an awkward beginning to a story to be like, I'm gonna tell you a story. Actually, I'm gonna skip halfway through the story. And so that didn't work. Final macro decision that really put everything into place was, as you saw, to choose three specific things, something about being original, being self-conscious, and saying goodbye. By narrowing it down to three points, I felt like it gave me the focus I needed and create sort of the structure I needed to keep the audience's attention and give them an idea of like where things were moving towards. All right, so that was a macro decision. And now for the sort of middle tier decisions. When I first started, I had all these different versions uh, trying to introduce that Audrey was significant and uh, getting me to where I was at, or I had learned a bunch from Audrey, different variations of that. But what I realized was that I think I can communicate that without actually saying it. I think it's sort of implicit in the fact that I'm making a video about Audrey um, and that just in the way I deliver it, I can communicate that I have learned a lot from Audrey without actually saying it. The second middle decision involved a little bit of rearranging. So when I first wrote the being original section, it started off with me introducing the questions. Am I original enough? Am I letting myself be enough? And then the second part was me talking about how I met Audrey in a tree and how her content stood out to me as original. And then I talked about the most original piece of your content is you. And then I came back to those questions. Am I letting myself be enough? Am I original enough? But when I was editing the actual footage, I realized that starting off the story with being original, before I met Audrey, I didn't feel very original. It's not a very interesting start to the story. It's very predictable, it's very just... But by fast forwarding a little bit in the story and going, being original. When I first met Audrey, I actually met her first in a video and not in real life. That's an interesting hook to the story. The audience doesn't quite know where you're going with that and how that relates to being original. You can tell a story, the pieces haven't quite come together. And I ended up moving that first section to later in the story and it ended up fitting in quite nicely. By rearranging the story like this, I feel like the story ended up getting a little bit more concise in a good way, uh, less repetitive, less predictable, and more importantly, it started off with a little bit more of a hook. So now on to the micro decisions. So let's start off with this sentence. This came at the part where I was explaining how when I first met Audrey, it was in this video of her in a tree and it originally felt like a little too up close and personal and it was sort of weird. Originally, the written sentence was this to follow it up. But that was the cool part about it that really made me subscribe a couple videos later. That sentence got shortened to this. That's saying the exact same thing, but in a more direct way, a less bloated way. And I can communicate that it was a cool or interesting thing by just saying it like that, by saying, but a couple videos in, I had subscribed. Here's another fun example. So I originally said, the more I thought about it, the more I started realizing. That whole thing just got shortened to, I realized, blah, 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 blah. Saying, saying it like that, the more I thought about it, the more I started realizing, is a clunkier way to just say, I realized, and then what your actual main point is. So here's a cool show not tell example. Originally, after the most original piece of your content is you part, I originally had a sentence that said, I'm so glad that other creators on this platform are talking about this. This is a game changer. This is a life changing realization. Um, I realized that just by saying the most original piece of your content is you. I can communicate non-verbally with just my tone that I'm excited about it, passionate about it, that it's a game changer, that it's, you know, all the stuff. 
And lastly, in the section where I was talking about Audrey being laughed at in the Christmas lights, it, there originally was a line that said, I know a lot of other people who would have freaked out and felt humiliated. Um, and then later I say, I, at 19, I don't think I would have reacted very well. I would have been embarrassed and thought about it a lot. That second part, that's unnecessarily long. And I totally cut out that sentence. I cut out that line because I wanted to keep that sort of embarrassing, humiliating, those adjectives on me and not throwing anyone else under the bus or not making other people who know me in real life being like, hmm, I wonder who Eric was thinking of when he said that his friends would have been embarrassed or felt humiliated. Um, that's just unnecessary, opens doors that don't need to be opened. Um, so I just cut out that whole thing and just kept it too. At 19, I don't think I would have reacted very well. So there you go, that was that. Uh, those were some macro, micro, and sort of in the middle decisions I made uh, in editorial to just sort of tell a better story and communicate more effectively. And the, these are some of the things that I'm thinking about and learning. If you found this interesting, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty curious what your thoughts are on, on it. I, I think it's super interesting uh, how just cutting out certain words or restructuring sentences can communicate the same idea in a more direct, impactful way. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm Eric Wen. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.